All right, thank you, Ladari. And we often hear of heroic acts happening during tragedies. Thankfully, there have not been any serious injuries reported in the Canton area. But CBS 19's Peyton Weidman shares with us a story of how the Canton Fire Department took some children on a special ride to safety. Peyton, how are the kids doing today? Hey guys, well, the kids are in good spirits here at Pecan Ridge School. Now, I'm not sure if that's because their parents are here to pick them up or because they got to go on a special trip yesterday. I spoke to some of them and they told me it was scary, but overall they enjoyed their field trip. Most of the students at Pecan Ridge School had already gone home Wednesday afternoon when the second tornado warning was announced. It was a little bit scary. But about 20 remained along with a dozen staff members. Leah Chavez, the school owner, says everyone was taking shelter when she looked outside and saw first responders running to the door. I saw I opened the door and I was like, come on, come on, come on, you know, come inside, you're okay. But the fire department wasn't there for themselves, but to take everyone to safety at the Canton Elementary School. And I was like, how am I going to get them over there? And he said, don't worry. And next thing I know, two fire trucks pulled in and four or five ambulances. Chavez says she told the students they were going on a field trip to keep them calm. It wasn't a field trip, it was something else. And they loaded us all up and all the men were carrying the kids out. It was just priceless. Everyone was safe throughout about the storm. Chavez says she couldn't be more grateful to the fire department for thinking of them in such a time. Thank you. And as for the kids, well, some might just turn out to become first responders themselves. Anybody want to be a firefighter when they grow up? No, I want to be a nature person. While the future is still quite a bit of ways for some of these kiddos, who knows? One of them could be the next first responder saving somebody else. In Canton, Peyton Weidman, CBS 19.